and welcome back to my channel. My name is Esnecato and today I bring you 5 tips to write better and cleaner code in Python for beginners. Before I start, I want to say thanks to Big Python because his comments inspired the topic for today's video. This channel has videos on advanced Python programming and I'll leave you the link for this channel in the description. Now, without further ado, let's start. Tip number one, use easy to read variable names. This way you can understand what a code does with just looking at it. It is important for the reader to understand your code so it can be used, updated and upgraded. I included an example here so you can see what I mean. When we look at this function, it is extremely difficult to read and understand what we want to achieve with it. Instead of selecting random or weird variable names, we should apply self-explanatory variables. Now and after changing the variable names, we can easily infer that the main goal of this function is to calculate the area of a triangle. Tip number two. Use comments to explain what your program does. If you have self-explanatory variable names, this is not really necessary. But if your program is more complex, you might want to include them so other people can understand what you want to do with your program. It can also work as notes when you want to remind yourself of some unfinished tasks or update opportunities. To add a comment, you only have to write a hash symbol followed by your text. Tip number three, use formatted string literals. We already know how to use strings with double or single quotes. The only difference here is that we add an F at the beginning and curly braces containing information that will be replaced with their values. Here I brought you an example on how to use formatted string literals. As I told you before, the only thing that you have to do is include an F at the beginning and put your variable inside curly brackets. At the end, you are going to get the same output, but your code is going to look cleaner and better. Tip number four. Make big numbers easy to read. If you are using long quantities in your program, you can use underscores to make it easier to read without affecting your code. In this example, the output would still be a little bit difficult to read. That is the reason why we are going to separate it by commas by adding two points and a comma inside our curly brackets. The last tip that I have for you is to use spaces instead of tabs when indenting. Always use spaces instead of tabs. Python 3 does not allow to combine both of them. The reason for this is that most libraries follow the convention of using spaces. Another reason is that spaces and tabs might look the same to the naked eye. However, Python notices when you use both at the same time and bombard you with an indentation error. I recommend you to use four spaces or install a Python language package in your text editor. So it does the indentation with spaces or changes the tabs to spaces automatically for you. There are many more good coding practices that I did not cover in this video but you can find all of them in the PEP8 style guide for Python code. And I'll leave you the link in the description box. And thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please press the like button and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Bye.